This is problem 43E, it's on page 225. A household refrigerator runs one-fourth of the time and removes heat from the food compartment at an average rate of 800 BTUs per hour. If the coefficient of performance of the refrigerator is 2.2, determine the power the refrigerator draws when running. Now this problem has a little bit left open to interpretation. A uh, quarter of the time is a bit confusing, but basically the way I interpreted it is that the heat flow rate out of the refrigerator on average is 800 BTUs per hour. So what that means is that the heat flow rate when the refrigerator is running is four times that because if it's only going to run for a quarter of the time it's got to remove an average of 800 BTUs per hour. So four times 800 is 3200 BTUs per hour. But you can interpret the problem differently. Anyway, the coefficient of performance of the refrigeration system is 2.2 that was given and we're supposed to find the power input required. Now the solution is pretty straightforward because our metric for performance, whether it's efficiency of converting thermal energy into work, or if it's the performance of a refrigerator or a heat pump that's moving thermal energy by using work, whatever it is, it's always desired output over required input. Now if you buy a refrigerator or a heat pump or anything like that these days, the form of energy you'll put into it to make it move heat is work. Um, usually in the form of electricity because you, you've, uh, you use an electric motor to do it. Anyway, so the coefficient of performance is so-called instead of an efficiency because it's actually possible to move more amount of energy in the form of heat than you have to put in in, in the form of work to do it. So you can use uh, one unit of work to move several units of heat in this particular case. Notice that it only takes one unit of work to move 2.2 units of, of heat or thermal energy. So that's what the coefficient of performance really says. So all we have to do is rearrange this to solve for the power input and it would be the heat flow rate divided by the coefficient of performance of the refrigeration system. So that's 3200 BTUs per hour over 2.2. When you plug that in your calculator the power input is 1455 BTUs per hour. Now we should probably convert this to kilowatts, but I'll leave that to you as an exercise. So notice it doesn't take as high an energy flow rate in the form of work to move a higher flow or to cause a higher flow of thermal energy.